Okay, this is the last four problems on the review sheet. So we're going to look at problems 17, 18, 19, and 20. They all go together in the order of operations. All righty, so let's look at a review sheet. Here we have problem 17. Um, and then we got in parentheses 9 plus a negative 2, close the parentheses. And then a bracket, open bracket, 7 plus, and the parentheses 4 plus 8. Close the parentheses, close the bracket. So, so you want to ask yourself, um, what do we do first? Okay, well, um, that kind of brings us back to the order of operations that we did before, where print, and I'm gonna put this over here to the side so we can refer back to it. Um, so we've got parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, so you see how we have parentheses? And then here we've got brackets and then parentheses inside of the brackets. So when you see like parentheses inside of parentheses or parentheses inside of brackets, you do the innermost parentheses first. Simplify that. So you've got simplifying parentheses within simplifying parentheses. So you do the, the innermost parentheses first. Okay, so we're gonna bring the nine plus the negative two down. close that, and then bracket. So really the, the only difference between a bracket and parentheses is that here we have two, if we had two sets of parentheses, it would kind of get confusing. So brackets kind of helps to organize it a little bit, but there really isn't much difference between parentheses and a bracket. So now we've got, we've got to add four, four plus eight, and that gives us 12. Okay, now we've got parentheses and we parentheses. So we'll do the left parentheses first. We've got nine plus a negative two. So the nine's positive, the two's negative. So we're gonna subtract, even though this says plus. So nine minus two, right, is seven. So that's seven. And we'll keep parentheses there. And then let's look at this other set of parentheses. We got seven plus 12 is 19. So that'll be 19. So now when there's no sign in between, we're going to multiply, right? So we've got 19 times seven, and seven times nine, that's 63. Carry the six, seven times one is seven, and six is 13. So that's 133 is our answer. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Evaluate the expression for x equal negative two, y equal three, and a equal to a negative four for negative three x plus seven y plus five a. All right, so this is our next problem. So I like to use the illustration of cutting out. So here we got negative x, negative three times x. And we're gonna substitute negative two in for x. So I like to use the illustration of cutting out the x and put parentheses. Plus, so that's negative three and then parentheses. And then plus seven, where the y is, we cut that out, put parentheses. Plus five, and where the a is, we cut that out, put parentheses. Okay, so now, since x is a negative two, we substitute negative two in for x. And since y equals three, we put three in for y. So that's seven times three. And then when A is negative four, we put negative four in there. Okay, so we've got multiplication, we got addition, we got more multiplication, more addition, multiplication. So in the order of operations, right? 
Multiplication is gonna come before addition. So we're gonna multiply negative three times negative two, negative times negative gives us a positive, right? Three times two is six. Plus seven times three is 21. Plus five times a negative four, positive times a negative is a negative. So this actually becomes a negative 20. Okay, so we have multiplication. You can do multiplication in the same step. You just don't want to add and multiply together. So this is multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. So we can do those together. Okay, so now we can go from left to right. Six plus 21 is 27 plus a negative 20. So here, you got a positive 27 and a negative 20. We're subtracting, right? And so we end up with seven because we subtracted 27 minus 20, we got seven. And that's our answer. All right, this next problem, number 19, okay, on our sheet, we looked at that. Number 19, evaluate the expression. So we're gonna use these same three values for x, y, and a in x, y, and a for 19, since there's no other instructions in between. Okay, so we're gonna use the same x, y, and a values. So again, it's like we're cutting the x out, put parentheses q, minus seven, and then where the y is, cut that out, put parentheses plus three, where the A is, cut that out, put parentheses. And so where X is, X is negative two, we put negative two in for Q. Y, put three in there for, th for Y. And for A, we put negative four. Okay, again, we look at our order of operations. And we have exponents, multiplication, and addition and subtraction. Well, this time exponents is going to be higher, right? So note off to the side here, negative 2 cubed is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Now, if you have to do this off to the side, that's OK. No big deal. Negative times negative is a positive. Two times two is four. So that's four times a negative two. Positive four times a negative two, that's going to be a negative eight. So negative two cubed, that's a negative eight. Bring everything else down. Seven times three, and then plus three times a negative four. So we don't. You got a subtraction, you got multiplication here. So what comes first? Multiplication or subtraction? You should have said multiplication. A common error students make is they want to combine these two, but that's not following the order of operations. You have to bring that negative eight down. And you've got to wait. You got to be patient. Do the order of operations. Negative seven times three, that's going to be a negative 21. And then plus three times negative four, that's a negative 12. Okay, so now we're ready to combine negative eight and a negative 21. You have to do that off to the side. Always put the larger number on top because if you actually do have to subtract, then you always have the larger number. Even addition and subtraction is commutative. 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, and so on. So since they're both negatives, right, we're adding negatives. So you got negative 21. You dig it, dig a hole down 21 inches, and you dig another 8 inches, right? That's a negative 29 inches that you dug down. So this is negative 29 
plus a negative 12. Now, even though this is a plus sign, right? You, you, you got a minus and a minus, you still have to look at the signs. So we're still gonna add negatives here, right? So we're gonna apply, so we're gonna dig down another 12 more inches. So now let's see how far in the hole are we this time? Nine plus two is 11. Carry the one, two, three, four. But we dug, so we dug 41 inches down. And that's our answer, negative 41. Okay, last problem on the review is evaluate negative four times five squared. Again, or this is the order of operations. So um, we've got multiplication and we've got exponents, right? So in our order of operations, exponents comes before multiplication. A lot of times students want to, they want to jump on multiply, but you have to follow the order of operations. So we've got to bring this negative four down times five squared, five times five. Five times five is 25. Now we can multiply. Well, if four times 25 is 100, negative four times 25 is a negative 100. And that's our answer. Okay, now I recommend that you go through the review sheet at least twice. And I believe you'll do much better if you do it a second time. So do it again. And, you know, and I believe if you have done the homework, now if you run into any problems with these, you can always go back and do the homework and, and look at the homework again. And if you still have, you know, and if you have to look at the PowerPoint notes for uh, in that particular lesson, if you need to, and if you still have trouble, come ask me. All right. And I know you'll do well on the test. All right, have a good day.